Many transmission line projects are encouraged to follow existing corridors, often paralleling other infrastructure, including pipelines and railroads. While this is preferred from a permitting perspective, and often from the public's viewpoint, it can create AC interference issues. For example, as current flows through a transmission line, it will create magnetic fields that radiate out from each of the conductors. These fields can couple onto long parallel objects, such as pipelines and rails, inducing a voltage that can pose a risk to both workers and to equipment. For example, it may result in railroad signaling systems misoperating, pipelines may corrode away, and equipment that's attached to either can be damaged if there's a fault on the transmission line. The voltage on transmission line generates electric fields that can couple onto large ungrounded objects. One example is a large truck parked underneath the line, which can build up a charge on it. If an individual comes up and touches the, the vehicle, they'll be exposed to a shock that's very similar to a static electricity discharge, but can be much greater in certain instances. Finally, if there's a fault on the transmission line, the voltage may transfer through the soil onto other objects, such as the pipelines, potentially causing significant damage to the coating or again to any equipment that's attached. These AC interference effects depend on the parallel length, how close the objects are to each other, and how much current or voltage is on the line. The good news is we can mitigate these issues with modifications to the lines, or more commonly to the parallel objects themselves. If brought in early, the studies team can work together with the line designers to create a safe design that meets the needs of all the parties involved.